Welcome to OMG class. I'm Dr. Fan, a big fan of origami. Today we will fold mountains and valleys, the two basic folds in origami. Origami paper has two faces. Face up in white color and face down in brown color. Folding paper up is valley fold. Folding paper down is mountain fold. If you flip the paper, the mountain fold becomes valley fold and vice versa. So the valley fold and the mountain fold are interchangeable if you flip the paper. Origami communicates in symbols. The mountain fold uses dash dot line and the valley fold uses dash line. These symbols are vocabulary for origami. Let's look at this origami diagram. It has one valley fold in the center and two mountain folds. How do we fold it? First, we fold it up into half with a valley fold and then fold it down with a mountain fold. And then flip over and then fold it down another mountain fold. And here is the result. Did you realize the mass in the folding? The valley fold divided the square into two equal parts. Each part is one half. The two halves add up to square one. This is a basic concept of fraction. Also, the two mountain folds and the one valley fold divided the square into four equal parts. Each part is a quarter. Four quarters add up to square one. Here's another diagram with a one valley fold in the center and a two mountain fold by its side. How do we fold it? I think about it. The valley fold is on a diagonal, folded up into two halves. That's the valley fold. The mountain fold, you fold this line to the center line and you fold it down with a mountain fold. And flip over and uh, fold down. Here's another mountain fold. So here is your result. The valley fold divided the square into two equal parts. Each part is one half. The key in fraction is same size. With two additional mountain folds, the square is divided into four parts, but they are not the same size. We can compare their size by folding the first triangle to the second, just like this. You can see the first triangle in brown color is smaller than the second triangle in white color. See how easy to use paper folding to compare their size. Because four parts are not the same size, each part is not a quarter. Let's be creative making origami art using the valley and the mountain fold. Look at this diagram. It has alternating valleys and mountains at equal distance. Seven valleys and eight mountains. Let's fold the valley first. Fold it half along the diagonal line. Fold another valley into half. Another half. And then fold this half line to this center line. So you have one valley, two, three, four, and then do the other half. For the mountain fold, flip it over and fold it into the half. 
Look at these folds. They became mountain folds on this side because they are separated at equal distance. We'll bring this line to the next and make a valley fold. Bring next fold to the next and make another valley fold. Continue this one to the next and make another valley fold. Finally, you bring the tip to the next fold. The next half is the same. This is very beautiful and with a lot of texture. Look, this almost looks like a leaf. Isn't that pretty? So if you fold this into half like this and give it a crease here, and then they really just look like leaves. So it's very pretty. And make another identical fold like this. We can make a butterfly. Here I have the other part other half doesn't look like a butterfly and then I will add a antenna here I cut the two strips of paper and then give it an antenna so finally I would use uh, another strip and then tie them together <laughs>